In the constant effort to provide ever more realistic educational tools to our customers, we have recently released a new simulator, the MTGS332. The overall dimensions are the same of the original cockpit, with seats for pilot and co-pilot, both adjustable in height and distance, to grant a correct and comfortable reach to the flight console. The flight console itself is a faithful replica of the Cessna 172SP with integrated G1000 avionics and motorized flight controls for a realistic physical feedback of the forces applied on the flight surfaces according to the situation simulated. For, from the vibration caused by the engine or by the wheels on the ground to the air resistance and movement. The steering wheels are an accurate replica with PTT, AP disengage and dual trim selector switches. The same can be said also of the G1000 avionic controls. All controls, battery, alternator, avionics, fuel pump, pilot heating are present, connected to circuit breakers and any of them can be activated manually or by the instructor from his station triggering the effects of the selected failure. A hops meter counter has been included, counting the working time when the battery selector is switched on, whilst the counter for the engine is managed by the G1000 internal software. In addition to the G1000 units, the cockpit also features analog standby instruments, attitude indicator, airspeed, altimeter, and an autopilot panel Bendix King KAP140 style. There is also a compass right above the cockpit. The brightness of PFD and MFD units, as well as the backlight of standby instruments, autopilot compass and pedestal can be adjusted through a dimmer on the cockpit, allowing to lower the brightness in case of night flight. The pedestal features an electric trim with indicator, a four-position fuel selector, both left, right and cutoff, and the handbrake pommel. The emergency stop button of the dynamic control loading has been placed at easy reach for both pilots. In case of maintenance, the flight console hood is closed with chrome hinges for a quick access to the internal mechanics and electronics whilst the front of the main PC is located behind a ventilated door on the left side of the cockpit. And right above it, there is a compact sliding workstation with mouse and keyboard. On the rear, there is a second ventilated door to access the PC chassis, its connections and the power switch. Right below the door, a hinged model panel allows access and passage of power cables, external network, and three HDMI ports for the visual system. All doors and drawers have a key lock to prevent unauthorized access. To best adapt to any requirement, the simulator is available with a wide range of monitor or projection-based visual systems, or even with no visual system, granting you the possibility to integrate one of your choice.